Okay, quick video sponsored by the things that make my throat good enough to do a video. Um, Nuka Jelly or something like that. We're here for the Moondrop Quartz DSP. Why is there Let's Shore S12 Pro on the table? Because that's the set that if you comment, like, and subscribe this video that you'll get in the next one. Today we're going to do for yesterday's video, the awful is going to come up later. That comment section is set alone. will be moved to the wheel, so don't worry about that. This is a very crazy hobby. This is a Moondrop set. They send me stuff frequently. Truthier stuff gets sent to me as well. For some reason, this wasn't sent to me. This costs $12. I would have hyped the heck out of this. Let's quickly compare this with the Moondrop 2, which was non-detachable, like this set. I picked this 10 times out of 10. This is a better sounding set. That is Fleetwood Mac. By the way, you plug it into your phone, USB-C. UAPP immediately recognizes it, asks for permission. Boom, plug and play, ready to go. Let's take a look at the frequency graph. I got three sets up there. They're all similar. We got the con, which is a basically a copycat of the zero, and the zero itself, and the quarks DSP. Now I'm going to go ahead and take out the con, and I'm going to leave just the truth here zero and the quarks dsp and you can see that the sub bass mid bass mids are identical when you get to the sound effects on the back side when you get to the gain it's a little bit smoother closer to the con as far as relaxing the forwardness of the vocals the difference between these two sets um is multiple fold but let's focus on the obvious the subwoofer on the zero is a dedicated driver and the the blending in and the coherency and the cohesiveness is Sometimes something that people notice, when you notice that there's a, a driver existing doing a certain part of the frequency response, that's something that is unappealing to some people in itself, that you can focus on that driver. I actually find the zero to be absolutely fantastic, but some people have said that there's a lack of connect between the two. I can get it. The Moondrop Quarks DSP is a single driver, it's a small driver, micro driver, and it's blending. There is no coherency, so the illusion, psychoacoustic illusion of that mid bass to mids transition is, I don't really hear the bass cut as much as I do on the zero or the con, because it is just one single driver doing the whole thing. So the natural tonality of the $12 set is better than the other two sets that I just mentioned. Now. I want to take a look at why this video is being done. About an hour ago, according to this timestamp, I posted up on my channel, I got this $12 set way late. Review it or skip. 82% of 500 people in one hour said, review it. Top guy. It's for the community, not for the company. If it's a quality product, first or last, does not matter, in my opinion. Uh, bro. Very well said. I should have thought of that myself. I'm kind of glad I put this all up so somebody smart like you could make a good comment like that. There's another one down here. Great tuning, low res, persistent hit. His skips, tuning ain't everything. Next guy, tuning matters. Next guy, also budget is everything. Same guy, actually, for some people out there. Let me tune this down for a second. This is the Sony, the MH series that was really famous. I've got the orange and white ones, and I've also got this one. This was touted as being something special for a while. I think it was actually just a joke. I have three of them. One of them I got reconnected MMCX because that was like cool to do at the time. One day when I was listening to it, I listened to another set via Splitter, and people who watch my channel know, it was like listening to a paper cup or music or sound coming through a paper cup. This is a bundled set. It could be sold separately for 5 to $10, and it sounds like it's 5 to $10. This is low res. This is a great example of what low res is. It sounds very poor when you put this in your right ear and you take another set that's about the same impedance and you stick it in your left if they're about the same volume you clearly be able to pick out which one sounds better, which one sounds mm, grainy, mm, unnatural, 
however you want to describe it, I think most people with decent hearing would pick out that the Sony is really, actually, garbage. I've got three of them, like I said. This black one, a white one, and then a third one that was recabled, and I can do MMCX, pull it out. I never use it. It's crap. This uh, is a legit good set. It fits. It's uh, like the Sony. It is a hang-down type. This is CP100 tips on the end of it. Fits me really good. Plays back a library like Fleetwood Mac, which is playing right now. Um, like a champ. <coughs> my question is, or my comment is, I get stuff sent by Moondrop to me. I get stuff from Truth Eaters sent to me. How did a $12 set not get sent to a channel that focuses a lot on the stuff that's for the people with tight budgets. I could have sold, I don't know what you sold, I'm sure you sold a lot, I could have added to that. That's my market, that's who I talk to. I talk to people with $5,000 earphones, I talk to people with $20 earphones. The stuff in the middle, mm, not so much. The stuff at the top is like Rolex watches, it's really just kind of for showing off. And the stuff at the bottom is where a lot of the buyers exist and they really want to know how does it sound with the bass guitar, how do cymbal strikes sound. Uh, bass guitar and drum kit actually sounds pretty good with this. It sounds better um, than it does with the Con or the Zero because it sounds more natural. Again, it's a single driver doing it, even if it's a micro driver, I think it sounds better. Vocals like Fleetwood Mac, Lindsey Buckingham, Chris Cornell, like that, uh, it sounds quite nice. How about hi-hats and cymbal strikes? They, they actually sound good. This is a good set. For $12, it's an easy wreck. If you never bought it and you've been looking for a beater, particularly a hang down type, this is a set that I would recommend that you take a look at. Um, and for people that say that it's low res, I'll argue back that this is actually low res, that this Sony MH series is actually what low res is. Sounds paper cupish. Sounds, forget about mud and all that. We're not talking about that, that's tuning. I'm talking about the quality of the playback. One of the worst quality playbacks that I have in my collection is the Sony. And again, I got three of those. I got caught up in the wave. This is nothing like that. This is not low res in that sense. Um, does this compete with stuff like the recent Ola? Um, yeah, it actually does, to be honest with you. Does it compete with stuff like the Truth or Zero? Uh, it does, actually. I'd be interested for people to comment below who think that something like the 7 hertz zero is superior to this. I'd like to know exactly what you're talking about. Use my library, please. This would be an interesting exercise for people who watch this channel for you to come in and say that the 7 hertz zero is better, cleaner in the mids, for example, than this set right here. Go ahead and, and use a song from my library. And I will mention you in a future video because I just want to learn. Help me understand how this didn't get more super hype at $12. Because I definitely don't understand it. Now, comment below, like, subscribe. Let's share S12 coming up next. Now we get to the Joy Audio, which should be called the Audio. Why wouldn't you just call it Joy Audio? I guess somebody already has that name. Let's go ahead and spin up the wheel. And this is going to Micro Iden. Micro Iden, you just got a uh, Joy Audio. And then comment below if you want to get the Let's Show S12 Pro. And I'm, if you got the corks and you like it, man, I'm with you. Very, very, very nice. Let's look at that one more time. Yes. And I'm out.